I just got a large package in from Spotify with something I've been waiting almost a year to get my hands on, Car Thing. It's Spotify's first hardware product that is meant to work alongside your smartphone and their music service to make listening in your car more enjoyable. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, let's move all this out of the way. I don't know what this is, hay or something. Anyway, that's gone. First, here are a handful of Spotify pins in different colors. Shout out to that orange one. Along with Camp Bonita Road Trip Instant Coffee. I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, but okay. By the way, I guess this box is all about Spotify providing all the necessary essentials for a road trip. Next, a bag of Route 11 potato chips, okay? Kettle cooked, never heard of this brand, but I'm just gonna assume since they chose this, that they're delicious. A pack of TileMate trackers, which you can attach to things like your keys or put in your bag to track in case you lose something during your road trip. There's also a Spotify premium pop socket and a Porter ceramic mug to keep your drinks hot or cold while you're driving. Now look at this, even a little jar of Rainbow Bites candies, which looks super good. And of course the car thing itself, which we will open up right now while I tell you more about it. Car Thing is Spotify's attempts to revolutionize the way that people interact with their cars. And it's a simple idea. Keep drivers' eyes on the road and not on their cell phones or other distractions while still allowing them access to Spotify's vast music library. Once connected to the car through your phone's Bluetooth connection, Car Thing will display a custom UI that only shows what the driver needs in order to stay informed and entertained without diverting their attention away from driving. Now this includes song information and album art, as well as playlist and radio selection screens. In the box, you get three mounts, giving you the option of attaching car thing to your air vents, your dashboard, or your CD player. You also get a 12 volt car adapter with two USB-A ports, one of which you plug into car thing to power it. It does require a paid Spotify premium account to use, as well as a Bluetooth connection to your smartphone for data. Now car thing itself is made with a sturdy unibody design with a matte textured rubber build. When using car thing, you can immediately tell that Spotify's UI engineers had put some serious thought into optimizing the software for use while driving. Navigation through menu screens is fast and smooth, with the large knob you can spin and press, along with a back button right underneath it, and of course, a four inch touch display. There are also four preset buttons along the top of the device that are fully customizable, letting you map them to albums, playlists, podcasts, etc. Now finally, you also get voice control built in. Just say, hey Spotify, and tell it what you wanna listen to when it'll start playing it for you hands-free without needing to interact with the screen. Now there are four microphones integrated into the top of the device to make sure it picks up your voice and it even works great when the windows are down. Now here are some examples of what you can do with your voice. Hey Spotify, show my playlists. Hey Spotify, play me something. Hey Spotify, play the latest episode of Geared Up. That's my weekly podcast, which you should be subscribed to if you're not already. Hey Spotify, show 90s hip hop. Hey Spotify, show today's hits. Hey Spotify, shuffle today's top hits. So as you can see, super easy. Now it is worth noting, car thing does have a couple of limitations since it is optimized for use in the car. For example, streaming music or podcasts over Wi-Fi is impossible due to power restrictions. Now here's the thing though, car thing costs $90 and all it does is give you a visual display for Spotify. That's it. If you ever switch to Apple Music, YouTube Music, Tidal, Pandora, etc., car thing becomes useless. And reminder, you need to be a Spotify premium member to use it. So if you're one of the many millions of people who use Spotify's free tier, you're out of luck here too. Now I get that Spotify is saying that it's the best way to access the service when in the car, allowing you to use voice control to keep your eyes on the road, and that is important. But if you have a car that supports Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, 
I have a hard time seeing why you should spend the extra money here. Alternatively, if you have a car that doesn't support those services or doesn't have a touch display at all because it's a little bit older, then car thing starts to make a lot more sense if you're a paying Spotify premium subscriber. And that's car thing available now from Spotify. Again, $89.99 is the price. Let me know what you think though. Is $90 worth a dedicated piece of hardware specifically to access one paid streaming music service? Let me know in the comments below. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.